Today, we will dive into our core classes, learn more about the new pottery wheels, and have another one of our Super Bowl commercials. These stories and more on the February 29th edition of the Win News. Good afternoon, I'm JC Hawley. Core classes make up the heart of the high school. Here with more on those are Caden Ritchie and Cassidy Marin. In English class, I try to address more than just the Texas essential skills and knowledge. I try to let the students know how important it is to be a good communicator, not only in school, but in the rest of their lives. Ms. Kimmel's class has helped me by thoroughly teaching me how to properly write essays and prepare me for college courses that I could be taking. My history class is what I do is I like to teach hands-on. I like to also, um, I don't like to take it seriously all the time. I like to incorporate jokes and, and uh, but I like to use technology where we look at maps on the monitors, uh, there's a bunch of other varieties that we do, so it's not just sitting down and listening the whole time. Our history class has taught me a lot about American history, but in a fun way. I try to make my classroom more effective by um, doing some interactive activities so the kids are up and around moving occasionally. Um, we work in small groups. I also work individually with students when they're struggling or need a little extra help. Miss Newton's, yeah, she teaches us like how to do group work and stuff because she puts us in the groups and partners. Pretty much prepares for like jobs and stuff and how we will have to ha have coworkers and stuff. Well, I like to think that my classes uh, are a fun way to learn. Uh, we most of my classes are are project based. Uh, we don't have projects continuously, but yeah, you know, we cover the concepts, then we do a project, and then we recover the concepts. Mr. Crowley's class has helped me prepare for college for the labs I'm going to do. Thanks, girls. Our high school is one to be proud of. Yesterday, the band competed at the UIL Concert and Sight Reading Contest. They earned a 1 or superior rating in sight reading and a 3 or good on stage. The book fair is happening this week. It will be at Spring Fling, which is tonight, starting at 5.30. Students also have a last chance to shop at the book fair tomorrow. Today is the last day to order yearbooks online at jostensyearbook.com before the prices increase. Ms. Cox, however, will accept order forms and money tomorrow. Prom is scheduled for this Saturday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Juniors and seniors are allowed to invite a guest. Nominations for personality awards are due Friday. Check your email for the form from Ms. Cox. The paper forms for Mr. and Ms. ACHS in Award of Excellence are due to Ms. Campbell by Monday. Make sure to mark your calendars for 1 o'clock March 22nd for the Honors Program. Photos of the winners will be taken then. Our Walkouts of the Week are McKenna Lee and Brianna Barron for helping take another student's wheelchair to the office every morning. That's sweet of them. The art class has added pottery wheels to its curriculum. Maddie Nicholson and Ren Adams look into these additions. I've been very excited about having the pottery wheels in class. It was a great chance for us to develop new skills. I find that the pottery wheels are very challenging for students, so it really pushes their abilities. The pottery wheels take some skill, and you have to be very delicate with them when you're working with the clay. So it's something different than what they've really done before. It's actually my first time to work with pottery wheels as well. So it was even a challenge for me to learn how to center the clay and then pulling the clay up to actually build something. I'm really excited about the possibilities that it's going to bring and the new, um, the new skills that we're gonna be able to learn using these in class. I feel that the pottery wheels have been benefiting the art class in a positive manner because they're adding extra fun 
and learning opportunities? The pottery wheels, uh, I think they're a great addition to the art class because they allow us to uh, create cool looking bowls. Um, we're just learning the basics as of right now, and we're going to build on that throughout the year, um, creating some bowls, some platters, um, maybe some cups. Um, but we're really excited about everything we're able to do now with those. With the Wind News, this is Maddie Nicholson and Ren Adams. Those look like a lot of fun. And we will be back after another one of our Super Bowl commercials. Yo, a good shepherd get life to the sheep, least nice, but nah, he ain't nice underneath. Got a price on a leash, I don't trust when they speak. Be sound a real spike for the meat. Why I bleed with the best, got the people, the eagle and dons, I done feed with the flesh, trying to smeag with the race. You believe that I'm blessed, got a speed to the left. All of my clothes, I be eager to mess, oh no. That makes me want to drink a Gatorade. Now to the sports corner. I'm Trent Howth. The tennis team has their first tournament Monday in Berman. Senior Cassidy Marin and Caitlin Hilbers placed first in the girls' double, and Brinley Skelton and Chance Warren winning the consolation bracket in mixed doubles. Today through Saturday, the baseball team is competing in the American Cancer Society tournament, while the softball team is an Iowa Park tourney. The junior high will be at their first track meet this afternoon at Winthorst. Tomorrow, junior Carla Preby and Jada Bogar will compete the regional powerlifting meet in Bells. For the boys team, junior Adrian Rubio and senior Zane Foster qualify for the regions. Sophomore Shooter Canada is the alternate. They will compete next week. Good luck to all Lady Cats and Wildcats. Thanks, Trent. That's it for this edition of the Wind News. Have a good rest of the week, Archer City.